So you've sent out some cold emails, you've sent out some messages on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram to get clients. Now you have a prospect who's interested in what you have to offer, they've raised their hand, what do you do from there? Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how do you qualify prospects in 15 minutes or less on your discovery call. Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Anthony, and if you're an entrepreneur looking to level up your business, your skills, and your income, make sure you head below right now, hit that subscribe button. I post videos just like this every Tuesday and every Thursday. So in this video, I'm gonna go over our sales process, and more specifically, the discovery call portion where you're qualifying prospects and seeing if they're a fit for what you have to offer in your drop servicing agency, right? So. These discovery calls, they, they run anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, and there are four things you need to find out on these calls. Number one is what is the prospect's current situation, right, in relation to what you have to offer, right? So we offer lead generation services on LinkedIn, so we wanna find out where their business is currently at, how many leads are they currently generating, where are they getting those leads from, and really understanding where they're currently at in their business. That's number one, understanding their current situation. Number two is understanding their desired situation. So if they say, okay, I'm currently generating 10 leads a month or 20 leads a month, we're gonna need to find out where do they want that to be, right? Do they wanna double that? Do they wanna triple that? And understanding if we can help them get to there, right? So we're understanding their current situation, where they're currently at in relation to what we have to offer. We're understanding their desired situation, where they want to go, which leads us to number three. We need to figure out, can we help them bridge the gap between their current situation and their desired situation, right? So if they say, I'm currently generating zero leads a month on LinkedIn, and I wanna be generating 10 to 20 or more, we need to figure out, can we help them do that? And if the answer is yes, then we're gonna continue on, right, to step number four, which is, does the prospect have the budget and the need to solve this problem now? Right, so you, you've heard me talk about this if you've watched my previous videos. If you pick a service that solves a problem that's related to, directly tied to revenue or growth, the business owner always needs to solve that urgently, right? So the four things again is number one, understanding the, their current situation. Number two is understanding their desired situation. Number three is understanding if you can help them bridge the gap between their current situation and desired situation. And number four is understanding if, if the prospect has the budget and the need to solve that problem right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into my computer now and I'm gonna walk you through like the structure of the actual discovery call script. So let's jump into it right now. Alrighty, so what I have here is the entire sales process of our drop servicing agency. And what I like to call it is PQC. Now P stands for prospecting, right? This is prospecting or I like to call it hunting. And that's you going out to the market and hunting for new clients. So this means you're going on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, email, and I have other videos. I'll link to that in the description or around here somewhere on how to do that but you're going out to these platforms and you're sending messages and trying to drum up interest for what you have to offer for your service, right? And your goal of P here, the, the prospecting part, is to get prospects to raise their hand and say they're interested in what you have to offer, right? What happens from there is you go to Q, which is qualify, right? Now qualify is the discovery call. That's what we're talking about in this video. The qualification call is usually, we call it a discovery call. It's usually 15 minutes or so, maybe a little longer, sometimes a little less, depending on the prospect. But the goal of this is to figure out if you can help them and figure out if they can pay you, right? You don't wanna be talking and wasting time with people who, who can't rub two nickels together. So it's the prospect, and then once you get someone to raise their hand, it's to qualify them. And then on that qualification call or the discovery call, if you further figure out that they're a fit and they're qualified and you can actually help them and they have the budget and need to solve it now, then you're gonna move them to C, which is close. And you're gonna close the deal on a demonstration or a demo call, right? And what you're doing here is you're showing the prospect how you can help them go from their painful current situation to their pleasure state or their desired situation in their business, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hop over to my Google Doc and tell you or show you like the structure of these, these discovery calls, right? And this is not an exact script, but this is an example of some of the things that we ask during these calls. If you follow this format here and you do the main points that I'm gonna outline, you'll be, you'll be totally fine and these should take no longer than around 15 minutes or so, right? So again, the four things we need to find out, what is their current situation? What is their desired situation? 
Can your service help them bridge the gap between their current and desired situation? And does the prospect have the budget and need to solve the problem now? Well, how do we do that? There's four parts to this call. Number one is the intro. And what we're doing is we're setting the agenda and taking authority, right? So goal is to take control of the call and set the agenda, right? So you wanna be seen as the authority. You don't wanna let them lead the entire call. You're gonna be leading the call. You're gonna let them do most of the talking, but you're also gonna lead, you're gonna point the call in the right direction, right? You're gonna take it where you want it to go. So what we might say is we'll banter in the beginning. Hey, where are you from? Where are you calling in from? Oh, I heard the weather's great there, blah, blah, blah. Oh, did you see so-and-so sports team won today? So whatever it is, you can lightly banter about whatever, weather, sports, whatever it is, okay? This should take no longer than like a minute at most. Then you can say, cool, so this is how, you, this is how these calls usually go. I don't wanna waste either of our time. So, so I'll just start off by asking you some questions to learn more about your company, whatever that company is. Then if it sounds like a good fit based on what you're telling me, I'll explain what we have to offer at the end and then you can make a decision whether it makes sense to continue moving forward or not. Does that sound good? And they're gonna say, yep. And if they say no, then say, all right, well, um, well, I don't have much else to say then if you don't want, if, if you don't think that it's gonna be a fit, then there's no sense for us to talk, right? So you wanna make sure that they say yes. And if they do say yes, then you move on to the next step, right? So then you're like, okay, great. So you're gonna go into their current situation now, right? And what we're doing here is, we're using strategic questioning to understand their business and their current challenges, pain points in relation to your service, right? So the key here is strategic, right? You don't wanna be asking them like rapid fire questions and just sounding like robotic and reading off of a script, right? You wanna use it in a way where you ask a question, you see where they go with it, and then you ask more questions that layer on with that, right? So I might start off by saying, okay, well, I I've done some research, I've taken a look at your website, but why don't you tell me a little bit more about your business? What are some of the products and services that you sell or the main products and services that you sell? And what we're doing here is we're opening the conversation and putting it on them, and everyone loves to talk about themselves and their own business, so we're giving them the opportunity to do so here, even if we already know about what they sell. Okay, so they'll go, oh, I, I run a marketing agency, I sell blah, blah, blah. This is, this is what, we, what we do, this is who we work best with, right? So we might ask other questions like, who is your ideal client? What are your ideal industries, your company size, or the types of decision makers that you work with in your business, right? Another question might be, what has or hasn't worked in terms of lead generation? Or how many leads and clients are you currently getting per month? And a ballpark number is fine, right? So what we're trying to do here is we are trying to ask Again, strategic questioning to understand more about them, their business, and like their current situation. Like what have they tried, what has worked, what hasn't worked in relation to what we have to offer, right? So we do LinkedIn lead generation. So that's why we're asking questions like what has or hasn't worked in terms of lead generation so far. And if they say, oh, well, well we've tried LinkedIn, it hasn't worked, then we can say, oh, well, what have you tried there? Like what, what exactly have you done on the platform? And most of the time they won't even have done much, right? So we're trying to figure out in relation to what we have to offer as our service, what have they tried so far and where are they currently at in their business, right? That's current situation. Number three is desired situation. And the goal of this is understand where they want to go. What is their dream scenario, right? And it has, again, I'm gonna keep saying this, it has to be in relation to your service, okay? So you, you don't wanna just copy and paste these. You wanna make sure that whatever it is that your services that you're offering, it might be graphic design, right? So how do you want your website to look in X amount of month? How, how many traffic or visitors do you want your website to bring in, right? So whatever your service is, you need to tailor the questioning around that. So we might say, okay, where do you wanna take the business in the next three, six, or 12 months, right? They're like, oh, I wanna be generating 20 leads a month or 20, 30 leads a month because I wanna get three extra clients per month and we need 30 leads to do that. So then I'll say something like, okay, so you're currently, you told me that you're getting 10 leads per month. Ideally, what would you like to be getting? And they might, they might say, oh, well, I don't know, maybe 30, 20, 30. And then we, we might ask them, okay, just curious, in your opinion, what's holding you back from hitting these metrics or these goals on your own, right? What's holding you back from hitting that 30 lead number? And we're listening for things like, well, I don't really have the time to do it on my own. I don't know how to do it on my own. Or I just, I don't know where to start, right? Like they don't know what to do, they're stuck. What you don't wanna hear is, well, I can do it on my own, it's no problem, right? Then that doesn't mean that there's a problem there. You wanna make sure, you wanna listen to hear that there's a problem and a pain point that they can't solve on their own because that's where you're gonna come in and help them bridge the gap, right? So. Then we ask if we want to figure out, figure out like their budget and make sure that they have the money to pay us. And this comes down a lot to who you're targeting, like what industry we might ask them something. Okay. 
okay, if we could help you move the needle and help you generate more leads or get to that 30 leads a month, are you willing and able to invest some time and financial resources right now, right? And they're gonna say, yeah, I mean, if, I, if it was the right solution, it could help me get there, then, then yeah, absolutely I could, right? And if they say, no, actually, I don't have any money. I can't spend any money, I can't invest any money, then we're gonna say, okay, well, I guess it's not a fit because it does cost some investment to work with us and to help you get that result, right? So we're listening for people who are open-minded and they wanna solve their problem now and they're willing to invest time and financial resources to do that, right? So what did we do here? Again, we, we first set the stage. We told them what this call is gonna be about. We're gonna ask them some questions, learn more about them and their business and see if we can help them hit their goals, right? We then understood their current situation. We learned more about their business. We learned more about the products and services they sell, their ideal clients, what, what has worked, what hasn't worked in relation to what we have to offer. We understood what they're currently getting in terms of metrics around maybe leads or traffic or whatever it is. And then we moved on to the desired situation. Now we understand where they're currently at. Where do they wanna go? Where do they wanna take their business? How many leads do they want? How many clients do they want? How much traffic do they want, right? And what's holding them back from hitting that goal on their own? And if they tell us that they just don't know where to start, they don't have the time, they don't have, you know, they don't wanna learn how to do it on their own, that's where we know we can come in and help them bridge that gap, right? And then lastly, we understand if they have a budget or not by asking them, okay, if we can help you solve this problem, do you have some financial resources and some time to invest right now in solving that? And if they say yes, then you know you've got a qualified prospect, right? Now, not everyone that you hop on the phone with, of course, is gonna be qualified. You're gonna have people who say, no, I don't wanna solve this problem, I don't wanna invest any money, and you know, that's just the nature of business. But this is how, in 15 minutes or less, we understand if we can help them, right? And you can see there's not many questions here, we're just, we're asking questions that we need to know to, to know if we can actually help them. Now, if you determine that you can help them based on their answers and where they're at in their business, that's when you transition to the demo, okay? And some people, they like to pitch like one call closes. I, we don't always do that because if you're reaching out to a cold prospect, a lot of the time they're not ready to close right on that first call, right? If you're doing outbound prospecting. If you are talking to a prospect who came to you through a referral or through inbound or through content, then it can be a little different. But this discovery call script is mainly for people who are ice cold, who don't know who you, who you are, and they didn't ask to be contacted, but you reached out to them and they showed interest in what you have to offer and what you have to say, okay? So step number four is transitioning to the demo. So the goal of this is to schedule a second call where you can show them a demo of how your service will help them achieve their goal and go from that painful state to that pleasure state. Now, what you're doing here is saying, okay, well, Mr. Business Owner, it sounds like we're a fit based on what you told me, although I'd love to, when you're in front of a computer sometime, I'd love to show you exactly how we can help you go from X state to your, your pleasure state, right? When's a great time for us to chat this week or next week? And you, what you wanna do is tell them the next, step, uh, next steps and schedule the call while you're on the phone with them, right? So you wanna make sure that while you're on the phone with them, you, you literally go into your calendar, you send them an invite for the second call, the demo call, and do this while you're on the call. When you get off the phone with them, and if you were to go back and forth via email trying to set this up, your chances drastically drop of getting that second call. So what you wanna do is transition to the demo if they're a fit on the call, on this discovery call. So you're gonna say, hey, it sounds like you're a great fit. I know, I'm know, i pretty sure I'm confident that we can help you get from point A to point B. How about we schedule a second time when you're in front of a computer to actually run through a demo of exactly how our service works and exactly how it can help you, right? And they're gonna say, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, then you say, what, what's a good day and time that would work for you? And then you schedule that time on your calendar, send them an invite, get that done on the call, and you say, great, I'll talk to you then. Looking forward to it, right? On the second call, you're gonna jump onto a demo with them and show them how your service works to solve their problem, and then you're gonna close on that demo, right? So that's a separate video. This is for the 15 minute discovery call only, but that's the structure of how it works. It's very simple. You can see how it's done in 15 minutes or less. We're not asking a ton of questions here. We're only asking what we need to know to understand the four things up here, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on exactly how we run our demos and the framework on that. 
But for the discovery calls, this is what you do when a prospect shows interest in what you have to offer and what you have to say regarding your service for your drop servicing agency or your SMMA or whatever it is, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. Give me a like if you actually like this and comment below with any questions or concerns that you have. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video.